This is the Odyssey. The Odyssey means a long and eventful journey. And she's quite a long boat, I suppose. 65 feet. She's a cruiser stern. Very good family boat, actually. She can sleep six. She was built by Fox Narrowboats in 2010. She was last blacked in August 2020. She had four new anodes put on at the same time. And there's a full survey available in the office for viewing from August 2020 when the current owners bought her. From us, actually, so it's nice to see her back and looking so lovely again. Seven feet long, that cruiser stern deck. It's good, good pram hood over it. Paintwork's in reasonable condition. It's a nice light boat. It's got big windows in the front half and a Houdini hatch there you might have just seen. Side hatch there. So yeah, sleep six. You'll see as we go through. So it's a it's a nice boat if you've got children or whatever. Cratch cover over the front deck. And in we go. The well deck itself is three feet two inches long. Storage under the seats either side here. And gas lockers in here. The water tank's integral, 540 litres. There is a bow thruster on board, a Vetus 95 kgf. Little fold down table there for drinks or nibbles or something. Spare bits of boaty stuff in there. Glazed front doors. And in we go. She's fitted out in pine tongue and groove. Very nice fit out actually. The floor is solid oak in the saloon and then lino through the back half of the boat. Head height on the boat is six feet two. A couple of very comfy armchairs in here with the footstools. The saloon is 16 feet long, so very good space. You can easily get a sofa bed in here, I suppose, and then you could sleep eight if that's your thing on narrow boats. Might start getting a bit crowded, I suppose. But that's a solid fuel stove. It's a more so squirrel. It does have a back boiler on it. There's the Commodore. I mentioned the back boiler, and you can see a radiator. There's central heating on board. The stove heats the radiators. But there's also an Aldi gas boiler on board. Nice dinette area here with good storage underneath. This turns into a spare double bed. Lovely dining area next to the side hatch there. It's a really good um, sliding screen there. Keep the weather out. Lovely woodwork on this boat. Storage under the gunnels there. Dinette six feet six inches long. And there's a view forward. And into the saloon. The galley's next, eight feet long. Worktops in here are Corian. That fridge is a 12 volt Waco fridge. There is an ice box in there. Super efficient, the owners tell me. Storage under the sink here. And there's the sink. The cooker's a Thetford Caprice four burner gas hob oven and grill. Pan drawer underneath. The only reason the people are selling this boat actually is because they've recently moved houses and the mooring they've got is a short one, so the boat's just too long for them to be able to moor at home. But they have loved the boat. Glasses and cups hanging under there. This is ingenious. That bit of wood stops your wine glasses falling out when you're motoring. You just lift it up to a slider glass out. It's very clever. Work surface and further storage opposite. Another side hatch in the galley here on the port side. And this is very clever as well. I like this a lot. It's an extendable working surface. 
and the back half of it must roll as you push it back in because that's a lot longer than the depth of the counter it goes under it's really good i like it on we go the bedroom's next this used to be a linear bed but the current owners modified it into a cross bed it's king size six foot two inches long five feet wide storage underneath so there's a board under the mattress that just slots in the gap at the feet end there and you just flip the mattress back over super easy to erect good size locker next to the bed there and a table there for computers or drinks or books or whatever the bedroom is how long is the bedroom eight feet two inches long this is the bathroom more of a wet room i suppose it's good size six feet ten inches long the loo itself is a tecmo pump out loo there's the shower there's also a a portable cassette toilet on board for emergencies that's a ceramic wash basin storage underneath there's the hot water tank the hot water's heated by the engine the Aldi or the uh, back boiler off the stove and into the rear cabin this is a good space in here, 12 feet 3 inches long. There's the Aldi gas boiler on the left of the screen. There's so much storage on this boat actually. Under there is the emergency loo. Cupboards in there. Cupboards, cupboards and more cupboards. This one's a wardrobe actually, very good size. And then you've got two single berths here, six feet four inches long each of those. Storage underneath. And here's the washing machine. This is a new seat. Love this room. Nice little day room if you want to. A bit of peace and quiet. Just a storage locker. Now out onto this seven feet, I think I mentioned, stern deck. The pram hood goes up and comes down quite easily. Various panels you can take out, depending on what your needs are. The engine's in here. It's a Beta Marine 43. It's only 1,480 hours on the, uh, on the hour, hour clock. PRM 150 gearbox. I mentioned the bow thruster to aid navigation. The battery bank's on the right there. Three ledgers, 160 amp hour AGMs. They were brand new in 2021. There's two bow thruster batteries as well, and a starter battery. So back we go. All the lighting on board's LED. There is an inverter on board for 230 volts. It's a two and a half kilowatt master volt inverter charger. There is a solar panel on the roof. We're not sure of the wattage actually, but that trickle charges the batteries. It's two 13 kilo gas bottles on board. Really lovely boat. I like the floor actually. So there we go. That's the Odyssey. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.